Okay, so we'll just start with the clean slide. Um, one thing I like to do is control and use the scroll wheel, and that, that helps you so you can zoom in and zoom out. Um, I'm just going to take this picture, paste it in here, but so that we're not cheating, I'm going to reset it. Reset picture. So that's what it looked like originally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click it, format picture, and do the artistic effects, and blur it. I don't like how blurred it is. I want it to be more blurred, so I'll crank it up. Um, one thing that Jonathan mentioned is the colors are usually desaturated, and so that's another option under picture color. You can desaturate it a little bit, and notice how the colors get a little less bright. You can go all the way to the left, which goes black and white, but I just want to desaturate it just a little bit. Um, I also want it to be a little bit brighter, just so that it contrasts the, the block that we create. So there's that. I'm going to insert some text now for opportunity. Um, notice how I click on the side to add the text. A lot of times if you add a text box and you click on another box, it'll start typing inside of that box, which is annoying. Um, oh, yeah. What's the, what's the EMC standard font by raise a hand? Who knows it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a book from Seth Godin. Okay. So architect's daughter, I'll change it to the standard EMC blue, make it really big, turn it to three degrees, put it here. Um, not enough contrast in between the background and the picture, so I'm going to create a black fade in the background. Just out of the box, format shape, gradient fill, get rid of the middle one, and go black to black but make one of them 100% transparent, so now it's faded. And I get rid of the outside line. So now I have that black, but opportunities behind it, so I'm going to select this front box and this box that's in the back and just send them both to the back. And now opportunities in the front. <laughs> so here's, here's another trick when you're doing like heavy design on a slide, but I, I really like this. Um, click on a shape or a picture and you can go to the selection pane and I'm going to hide these so they're out of the way for a little bit so that they don't get in the way when I'm clicking or, or dragging other things around. So now I'm going to create this box and add a gradient to it. Um, I want it to be a little bit darker, and I want the angle to be changing the angle of it so that the bright part is in the top left. And um, now I want to make it so that there's a shadow on it so that it pops a little bit more. So shape effect, shadow. This is Lizzie and my favorite shadow, I think. We use it on everything. <laughs> you know you're a nerd when you have a favorite shadow. <laughs> I'm going to come in here and adjust the shadow. I always put it down to 100% so that it's even. And then blur it out more. Take the transparency down. So there we go. we got a nice shadow on it. I feel like I could also do this in five minutes. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it in five minutes. So, um, and then now I'm going to draw this graph. So this is something that, like Lizzie said, I'd, I'd mapped it out before. I kind of sketched it on paper so I kind of knew how I wanted to present the data. Um, but... Yeah, so we have five lines right here. So I'm going to just draw those five lines. Draw one. If you hold down the shift key while you're drawing a shape, and then it'll make it so that it draws straight or at, or at a specific 45 degree angle. So I drew that line. Um, I'll copy it. Control C and paste. Control V. Two, three, four, five. So this is the bottom of it. This is the top of the graph. Um, I'm going to click up here and just select those lines and now align them to the right so that they're all aligned and I'm going to distribute them vertically so they're perfectly distributed. You don't, I'm, I'm recording it. <laughs> so, so yeah. I'm sitting here like hitting my arrow keys like 16 times. So copy and paste, put another line here. And we've got our graph. So now we want to make it look like this one. So I want these ones to look less as strong, so I'm going to change them to be dashed lines instead of a straight line. So now I don't have as much emphasis. 
Um, these ones, I'm going to change them to white. So they stand out more. Oh, that's a little too much white, so I'm going to go kind of gray. And then um, we want to draw these blue crosshairs on the top. So I'm going to draw the other one. So I did copy, copy, paste is what I did. Draw the other one and select them both at the same time and format them both at the same time. Line color. If you want to select two things at the same time, hold down the shift key and you can select more than one thing at the same time. Okay, so now I've selected them all and I'm going to add a, sh I like to do a shadow to make it kind of feel like it has a glow. So a do art lives in my favorite shadow again. 100%. Transparency, zero. I'm going to change it to white. That's a little too much glow. You can't see it as much up there, but on the screen, it's a little too much glow, so I'll make it a little more transparent. Now we have a glow there. So now I want to draw this curved line. And this is kind of a, a cool little trick. Um, I'm going to do a curved line here. Okay, so I inserted a line, and you can click in Format and click here under Edit Shape, and you can edit the points of that shape. So you can go in and, and adjust it to be exactly how you want it to be. You can do that with squares if you want it to be a little like trapezoid, or circles if you want to make it a little bit different. You can go into there and adjust the shapes however you want them to be. So we've got that line now. And I'll change the outline to white. So we're getting there. It's getting getting close to there. Um, I'll add the text now. Insert text box. And I'm just going to copy and paste the text to save time. But to not cheat, I'll just copy just the text and we'll edit it. So I'm going to make it fit. Bring the font size down a little bit. I'm going to change the color to a little off gray. I don't want this to stand out as much as I want the 100 billion to stand out, so I'm making it a little bit darker of a gray. And I'm going to add our favorite shadow to it. So I know there should be. There, you can you can uh, set up your taskbar at the top. Um, so afterwards, the minute I would take time. My intern showed me that. <laughs> 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 Crap, you're taking my job. <laughs> okay, so we've got that added. Um, there's not enough space right here to fit 100 billion in, so I'm just going to select the empty space there and up the font size so that it's a bigger space right there. One other trick. When you move things around in Photoshop, it moves them in chunks, and it gets really annoying when you want to like line something up perfectly. So if you hold down the control key while you're moving something, it lets you move it by pixel. So you can just move it, just nudge it just a tiny, tiny bit. So holding the control key down is a tip for that. So I'll just copy and paste, control C, control V, that text box, and write 100 billion. here. We want it to pop, so make it a lot bigger. And I'm going to change the shadow color. So shadow, and you can come down here to shadow options. Change it to blue. And get rid of the transparency. A little more blur. And I'm going to change the color of the font to white. So now that pops. So you guys get the idea, like we've created this graph, um, I'm going to unhide these things in the background.